If your Windows PC fails to boot and shows an MBR error or operating system not found, don't panic. MBR, or Master Boot Record, is a critical part of your drive that tells your computer how to load Windows. In this video, I'll explain why MBR errors happen and show you step by step how to repair the MBR safely, so your system can boot normally again. Whether it is an internal hard drive or an external drive, the reasons for MBR error seem the same. In general, there are two main possible causes for external hard drive master boot record corrupting. Virus infection. When a virus loads on your hard drive, the MBR sector is the first target that the virus is likely to infect. When the MBR part locked, no data on that drive can be accessed. MBR overwritten. Some programs may accidentally write part of the MBR when they are installed on the external drive. Method 1. Repair MBR via Windows Installation Disk. This method requires a Windows Installation Disk. If you don't have one, skip to Method 2. 1. Connect the external disk to your computer. Shut down the machine and insert the installation disk. Boot from the disk. 2. Select Language, Time and Keyboard Input, and click Next. 3. At this step, click Repair Your Computer in the lower left corner. 4. Press Shift plus F10 key combination to call out command prompt. 5. Type these commands in sequence and press Enter after each. Butrek.exe slash fixmer. Butrek.exe slash fixboot. Butrek.exe slash rebuilt. 6. Restart the machine when it completes. Method 2. Fix MBR via AOMI Partition Assistant. 1. Install and launch AOMI Partition Assistant. 2. Click the external disk and select Rebuild MBR from the right pane. 3. Select the type of MBR for your current operating system. 4. Click Apply and then proceed to execute the pending operations. 5. AT the pop-up confirming dialog, click Yes, and wait for the process completes. And that's how you fix MBR errors and get your Windows PC booting properly again. If this guide helped you, make sure to hit like, subscribe for more Windows troubleshooting tips, and leave a comment if you have any questions.